Are you thinking about a new product or company? If so, let me teach you about the five C's of market opportunity analysis. My name is Dr. Julius Corley. I'm a second year Weatherhead School of Management MBA student. For my video, I've chosen the five C's and their application to the medical device and pharmaceutical industries, specifically my company, Affinity Therapeutics. The five C's are a simplification of a market opportunity analysis. Simply put, what are the chances of your company or product idea succeeding? The five C's play a huge role in new companies. I would venture to say that many ideas would stay in the lab or garage where they started, and that may be a better option for some of them. Let's begin by looking at the company. Affinity has strong leadership. The current CEO has a management team supporting him with 30 plus years of experience in the medical device and drug commercialization arenas. The objective of Affinity is to commercialize a platform technology that could drastically reduce the amount of infections with regarding, regarding implantable devices. Additionally, the company has a large data set because it's been able to capitalize on its scientific expertise in the field. Additionally, because the technology was licensed from Case Western Reserve University, Affinity also has the resources of this research tier one institution at its disposal. In terms of collaborations, Affinity has many. Affinity has developed relationships with the University Hospitals and the Cleveland Clinic. In terms of business collaborators, Affinity has developed relationships with local accelerators such as BioEnterprise and Jumpstart and Glide. These accelerators provide management expertise as well as small pots of funds that are vital for new companies as many medical devices medical device companies go bankrupt because they underestimate the regulatory pathway that begins and ends with the FDA or the Food and Drug Administration. Affinity has developed partnerships with two major funding agencies, the National Institutes of Health as well as the National Science Foundation. Through the small business grants obtained through these agencies, the resources of these agencies become available to Affinity as well. Affinity has several competitors such as Johnson & Johnson, Cook, and Zimmer. These competitors are developing technologies to prevent infections as well. However, Affinity's technology is different, it's more effective, and it's protective, which is probably most important. And through Affinity's vetting process of initiating customer contact early on, they've learned that their competitors could also be their best customers through vehicles such as partnerships, mergers, and acquisitions. Affinity's customers are its potential competitors, especially the established players in the market that could potentially lose some market share if Affinity's technology was taken up really well. They want to protect or increase their market share, so what better way than by being in control of the latest technology? Other potential customers are hospitals and insurance companies. Insurance companies could pay for the device on behalf of its policyholders, while hospitals wants to pay for the hospitals want to pay for the device to ensure that they're not responsible for the fees associated with these unintended infections. In terms of context, this C is has a great deal of impact on the medical device industry. It's really frustrating because it's the C that can least be controlled by the company. The United States Patent Office plays a really big role in this frustration. Recent laws have changed from first to invent to first to file. While it's positive that this synchronizes the United States with the rest of the world, this is terrible for small companies that are cash strapped. It puts them at a big disadvantage. Before, these companies could wait on patent, patenting an idea until it was fiscally responsible, but now it has to do it right away. This also means no publications in the area um, because it could uh, further put your technology at risk. This, situ this situation is not the end. It can be fixed, but it costs a great deal of money, which is something that small companies don't have. In terms of the technological environment, the FDA has frowned upon delivery of antibiotics. With this uncertainty regarding the FDA, this can be a major regulatory hurdle for new companies and venture capitalists investing in them. Hopefully I've demonstrated the importance of the five C's when vetting a new product or company.